Greetings from HTC. Welcome to the podcast on Publish Subscribe Solutions. This podcast will enable you to understand the importance of Publish Subscribe Solutions and how you apply it in your business to handle business events in real time. Here we go. What does Publish Subscribe mean and what are its objectives? Publish Subscribe is a method where the publishers segregate the message into classes without an idea of who the subscribers are and the subscribers receive messages, events, without the knowledge of who the publishers are. In simple terms, the sender of the message will not be aware of who his receiver is and vice versa. The general objective of the Publish Subscribe system is to let information propagate from publishers to interested subscribers in an anonymous, decoupled fashion. Who is a publisher? A publisher is an entity that creates notification messages based on situations. They provide information by creating streams of messages which contain a header describing application specific information and a payload capturing the content of the message. Who is a subscriber? A subscriber is an entity that receives notification messages from a notification producer. Subscribers are usually interested in particular events or even patterns. They have the ability to express their interest in an event or pattern of events and are subsequently notified of any event generated by the publisher that matches the registered interest. What is a notification message? A notification message is generally a situation which will contain information about an occurrence within a web service or its environment that some entity wishes to communicate to other entities. What are notifications and notification producers in Publish Subscribe? Notification is the act of transmitting notification messages to interested entities and a notification producer is responsible for generating notifications. After the notification is published by the publisher, it is the duty of the Publish Subscribe system to deliver the message to interested recipients the subscriber. Where shall the subscribers register to get messages? That's a good question. Subscribers will register their data interests with a message broker in a subscription language that the broker supports. This is achieved through appropriate subscriptions and they wait until they are informed about a matching event. The subscription information remains stored in the event service and is not forwarded to publishers. Having spoken about the message broker, what is it? The event service broker is an entity that registers events from producers which acts as a temporary store. It delivers events to subscribers. Inside the broker, arriving subscriptions are stored as continuous queries that will be applied to all incoming message queries. Every subscriber will receive an event for every event conforming to its interest. Having spoken about the message broker, what is it? The event service broker is an entity that registers events from producers which acts as a temporary store. It delivers events to subscribers. Inside the broker, arriving subscriptions are stored as continuous queries that will be applied to all incoming message queries. Every subscriber will receive an event for every event conforming to its interest. Push-based architecture. The figure describes the interaction between the publisher and subscriber in a push-based architecture. In the push-based architecture, the transfer of a data message is triggered by predefined events at a publisher. The publisher then pushes the data message to a broker and the broker multicasts that message to all corresponding subscribers. Therefore, a subscriber can have a desired data message without having to request for it. Subscriber acknowledgements should be sent to the broker in order to keep track of successful or failure transmissions. Is there any subscribing method for the subscriber? That's an interesting question. Yes, and the subscribing methods are termed as topic-based and content-based systems. In topic-based systems, the users show their interest by registering in a group. All messages related to that topic are broadcast to all users participating in that specific group. 
whereas in content based systems the decision of to whom the message must be directed is made on a message by message basis it provides a subscriber just the information he needs the subscriber does not have to learn a set of topic names and their content before subscribing hope the topic was of interest to you thanks a lot for your time if you have any questions feel free to contact htc global services at www.htcinc.com